I've always had an uneasy relationship with my Jewish identity, believing that the only solid thing that makes me Jewish is, as per the requirements of Jewish tradition, the fact that my mother is Jewish. In every other traditionally Jewish way, I don't really qualify. I have a Greek first name, a Christian middle name, an English surname. I wasn't circumcised, never went to a Jewish school, have never had a bar mitzvah, never learned Hebrew, never been to Israel, didn't grow up going to shul or observing the Sabbath, and observed Jewish holidays only insofar as their social gatherings, which my family is invited to attend as part of an extended, more observant, but not strictly orthodox Jewish family. Despite all this, there's something undeniably Jewish about me. My sense of humor, my mannerisms, my cynicism perhaps, that marks me out to other Jews as a member of the tribe, whether I like it or not. <laughs> Anyone born from a Jewish mother is a Jew. If you haven't been to Israel, then you can't even ask that question. There was always this, the ghost of the war and the Holocaust and the suffering of the people was always present. We Jews in South Africa were privileged. We were white. We had all the luxuries. We had all the opportunities. Try and be a practicing Jew and you're opposed to Zionism, uh, you can virtually forget it. Well, in Jewish law, if your mother is Jewish, then you are Jewish. So if you marry somebody and their mother's Jewish and their father isn't, it's not quite as bad as marriage. It's not quite the same thing. But it's not as bad as if you marry somebody who's completely non-Jewish. He didn't send us to Jewish schools, if anything. He sent us he sent to us, nationalists. <laughs> he sent us to nationalist, an Afrikaner nationalist school run by a Bruderbond member. Well, I didn't choose that. It happened to be convenient. You know? <laughs> and in the end, I think it turned out to be a very good basic education. And if you think about the school, today, you know, Neutgedacht is supposedly a model of integration. So there was, you know, there was no, really no choice. So I think that what I did when you went to school was counteract that Bund influence that might have pervaded in the school and had constant fights with the school headmaster and the teachers, if you will remember. That's true, so, but I think it was just because you're Jewish. <laughs> not at all, because I had a political consciousness uh, which might have uh, been molded by my parents' brand of Judaism, Jewishness. But, uh, I like politics. You were in the and, Communist Party? Yeah, during the war for a little bit until Stalin made a pact with uh, Hitler. Hitler. Then I thought, rubbish. They're talking nonsense. Yeah, because I'd had my education, yeah. my political education, and I believed in that. Uh, quite a lot of what the communists believed, but I didn't believe in Stalin. Except that I did believe that uh, people should be, shouldn't be treated so badly. And I did believe that there shouldn't be racism in South Africa. Uh, my generation, my friends were all involved in politics. Why do you think that? I didn't make friends with people who weren't involved. <laughs> I'm a musician and I play in a band called Freshly Ground. The kind of music that I'm drawn to is, a lot of it is that Eastern European sounding music. Certainly we do more than entertain. We inspiring a whole group of people about living here in South Africa post-apartheid. The word Jew appears in jewelry. The word Jew appears in Judas. The word Jew appears in Jupiter, as in a planet full of Jews. It makes me uneasy to talk about Jews. Whenever I see a capital J, I get a bit nervous. I think the next two letters will be E, W, O, and I'll have to think about Jews as a Jew. <laughs> 